Hello my friends and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are uh, visiting Tiagara Stadium. And uh, as you see behind me is a half meter uh, thick uh, wall. Uh, and I see most of the doors are closed. But we are trying to get inside. I also saw that uh, there was a bus arriving uh, with football players. So maybe we will see a football match today. Today I'm uh, going to give you a brief uh, history about the Tiagara Stadium. At the end of the video I will uh, tell you about the uh, crazy month we had. So basically I will tell you what happened to our bunny who visited us, uh, how we got uh, stuck in an elevator and uh, what's, uh, what's my future plans because I have huge plans with this uh, YouTube channel and I have uh, some great ideas so I will uh, share with, with you This is the second part of Tiagara Stadium as we see, uh, loca locals are playing football. So it's a small part of the uh, stadium inside uh, the big stadium. The big stadium is uh, right there. We are trying to go and see uh, inside that too. So yeah, this uh, Tiagaras stadium wall is uh, many kilometers long and it's a uh, half meter thick. But we try to get uh, into the stadium and see if there's a football match going on. Because um, every Saturday or so I will see a football match uh, from, my, from my balcony. So I was curious uh, to come out here and check it out myself. And also give you an insight uh, if you want to visit this place. Tiagara Stadium is uh, right uh, outside the old town walls, so it's easy to find. Tiagara Stadium uh, was built in 1932 by uh, Italian uh, authorities and it was uh, first called uh, Arena de Sole, uh, which uh, meant uh, Sun Arena. And after uh, World War II, it was named uh, Tiagoras after a famous uh, boxer. So now it's called uh, Tiagoras Stadium. The rumor says that it was once called uh, Stadio Mussolini, but uh, we don't have facts for that. It's just a rumor. I walked around the uh, stadium and it seems like all the doors are closed. But uh, we are trying to get inside anyway, so one way is to go through that wall. So let's try. So I didn't get in because there was a ticket and I don't have ticket money at the moment. But this is the view uh, from my balcony. So basically I can see football match anyways. And I will uh, return to the football stadium uh, later when the match is over. Meanwhile, I will uh, go and shoot another video. And let's so the football match is over and uh, we were able to enter the stadium. As you see, there is a training at the moment. But this uh, stadium... Uh, Maximum uh, capacity is uh, 8,500 people. It's the record for this stadium. And it also has a basketball court and a volleyball uh, court. Oh. Now about uh, last month. It was a busy month for us and we a lot of uh, things happened. First thing, uh, I got a job and I had a three weeks training and that's the reason I didn't uh, made new, make new videos for you but uh, now I uh, started working and I know my schedule so basically I have two days in a week uh, where I can uh, do uh, all the videos for you 
So, my mother-in-law visited us uh, here in Rhodes, Greece and they stayed for a week and uh, when they came uh, the thunderstorm started and when they left the thunderstorm also started so I don't know if it was a sign or what but uh, it was interesting because uh, for five months we didn't have uh, any rain and it was always sunny and when my mother-in-law visited us uh, we got stuck in a, a elevator so you can see that uh, clip here so first time ever we are stuck in the <laughs> elevator it's uh, damn hot here and no one is uh, answering our call so and i need to be <laughs> i need to be yeah and Kathleen has to go to work uh, we don't know if anyone hears us let's hope for the best because it's so hot in here and uh, people don't answer the phone so fun <laughs> yeah basically we got stuck in a elevator uh, because we didn't read uh, any signs how many persons or how many kilos can go there and the elevator moved down a bit like uh, 20 centimeters and we couldn't open the door so we tried to call the um, uh, emergency but there was uh, no signal in the elevator so we didn't know what to do and we stayed there like one hour and uh, finally we got touch with our uh, friends uh, with via internet because uh, our department our department wifi somehow reached to our telephones and we were able to send out messages and uh, finally we got saved and when the elevator guy came uh, then we we heard some bad words that we are dumb <laughs> yeah but what can you do sometimes we don't read signs and uh, sometimes things happen next thing was that my one of my best friends visited me here in Rhodes so I had to find time uh, between uh, my mother-in-law uh, training at work and uh, going on an island tour with my friend so it was a really busy time and uh, when visitors uh, went away then the next day unfortunately our bunny uh, her name is Mickey by the way um, she had a heart attack so basically she was paralyzed we didn't know what to do uh, we were like is she gonna die or what happened what happened to her but um, luckily we were able to massage her a little bit and uh, my wife told me that we should go to the nearest uh, animal hospital and uh, we did that and uh, luckily the people at the animal hospital were really nice they helped us and uh, even though there was no doctor at that day uh, the assistant uh, helped uh, to do the shot or vaccine or something like with the needle so uh, in a week our bunny got better and uh, now she is back to normal again which we are very happy because uh, she is the reason we came to Rhodos uh, because it's uh, her retirement place where he can rest and uh, be in peace so it uh, wasn't a good event uh, for us at all but uh, luckily everything is good at the moment and uh, she's happy one thing uh, i wanted to talk about is uh, people who like my videos uh, have subscribed and uh, also comments my videos i'm really grateful uh, because uh, 
every like I get, it uh, pushes my videos uh, for people who wouldn't uh, see it otherwise. And uh, lots of people get good tips and advice and, uh, and I'm uh, glad if you like my videos, uh, comment my videos and uh, if you have been uh, subscribed. So if you haven't done that, I'm uh, thinking that you hate me already, but I hope that's not the case. And uh, one comment uh, really caught my eye because um, there was uh, one person who said, uh, who commented on my video that uh, I don't like your head, remove your head, I don't like it, I want to see the island. I um, was trying to be polite and uh, said to her that uh, don't watch my videos again ever because uh, this is who I am. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. And uh, what happened next was that uh, one of my viewers uh, commented back to that person, which you can uh, see here. It was really funny for me. Um, but uh, from that comment, I got so much inspiration uh, that I didn't know that you guys feel like uh, you're hanging out with me, which is a really cool uh, thought. And from that, uh, I was thinking what to do next. And I thought that I, I tried to buy a 360 camera to shoot my next videos. And uh, when I post the videos, one is normal video and the other one is a 360 video. And why 360 video? Because uh, there are many people at homes who maybe physically can't uh, go to travel and uh, maybe some people who financially can't travel so they can um, join the experience to travel uh, with me. So maybe anyone or everyone or anyone can use uh, virtual reality goggles if you know and uh, work with me watch the surroundings and everything so that was my first idea uh, to offer you as a viewer uh, virtual reality experience if you want so but also you can uh, watch my videos in normal style so now i'm trying to collect uh, money for this camera here, it costs about 500 euros and I'm trying to save up. Also, if you like to donate and help me out with that to get it faster, uh, I added a link to my YouTube channel uh, main page or you can visit uh, my homepage rodoses.com and there's a donation uh, button. And here I really want to uh, thank uh, Christy. Christy is from United States. Uh, she sent me the first uh, tip or donation uh, where I can uh, buy my camera and I'm uh, very glad for that. I know Christy is coming uh, to Rodos in uh, eight days so we are going to island trip together see the island and uh, have some uh, drink or eat something together maybe if I get uh, away from uh, job yeah these uh, positive comments and uh, donations and everything the support you give me is so inspiring so I want to go out and uh, shoot uh, every video I can so you can experience it also Another idea that came into my mind when I thought about travel experience uh, was that I, I would start uh, making videos for one place at a time. So if, for example, I go to one restaurant, you know everything about this restaurant, what to order, what are the prices, what did I order, uh, you can hang out with me while I do that. So yeah, I try to go to every place uh, where I want to go and uh, I will show you this place more than like two seconds you can get the full video about this place 
so when you come to Rhodes you know uh, where to go uh, what are the prices uh, is it good place not so good place and yeah basically I'm uh, going to make videos about uh, uh, place reviews so restaurants ice cream cocktails uh, places to visit like uh, experience wise and so on so let me know uh, down in comments what you think about this uh, idea do you want to see places where I visit one by one or you want to see like a uh, wider video uh, without going uh, too deep so it's uh, end of uh, September at the moment and uh, we have winter season already it's uh, it's not 30 degrees anymore it's uh, 26 and 7 which is uh, feels uh, very cold to me because I'm used to 30 degrees and up and uh, yeah the season uh, should end uh, in the middle of November uh, and everyone uh, mostly are closing their shops and uh, restaurants and so on so I want to cover also the winter in here so you can see how the winter in Ireland is uh, it shouldn't drop below 14 uh, degrees but we will see and today is uh, last day for my wife to work here so we are going out for a celebration and uh, I hope she can also take some free time and see the island um, more than uh, she has been because she has been working and I have been uh, making videos so now basically we have switched uh, places uh, where I am working and she has a little bit more free time so it's really nice I like that idea and uh, also if you haven't uh, seen our Instagram page then uh, you should uh, visit that uh, there you can see uh, all the awesome uh, videos uh, reels that my wife has done so basically if you see any nice reel or video it's made by my wife so she's really good at this uh, I don't know how to make uh, videos for uh, social media uh, but I'm trying to to the best so yeah go to Instagram page uh, follow us there uh, lots of good stuff and also like my videos and subscribe it uh, really helps me a lot and also every comment and like uh, will push my videos to more people so they can uh, also take part of this travel experience in uh, Rhodes Greece so Thank you all for watching, thank you all for supporting me and we will see in the next episode.